Welcome back everyone to Mount and Blade Warband as the Faith Militant. Now our victories over Riverrun and Raventree Hall in the last couple episodes actually bought enough time for the Knights of the Vale to successfully capture Salt Pants, the last big city uh, of the Riverlords, at least in their, uh, in their homelands. They still hold Tumbleton in the Reach, but I don't think that they're going to be able to hold on to that for very long because it's kind of cut off from the rest of their lands. We've got Ironborn holdings here, we have villages under control of the Vale, and, well, the Northerners still hold King's Landing, but they don't really have any means of getting there to support the, the capital. Um, they still hold a very important city, Hull, here on Driftmark, and that is actually what I want to take in today's episode. But before we do that, let's have a quick look at the North, because the Lords of the Sisters have been hard at work. They have managed to take over Widow's Watch, so now they control basically all of this here. Everything of the White Knife, except for White Harbor, which is held by the Free Folk. And the, the Lords of the Sisters also hold Barrowtown, so they have managed to really reduce the northern presence here. Um, Torrent Square is currently under siege by, I believe, the, the, the Wildlings, and so that means Winterfell, Deepwood Mott, and Moat Kaelin are the only holdings still held. By the northerners um and then all they have left is case and uh well ashmark here in the west so we'll deal with that a little bit later but for now as i said we need to focus on hold i have mustered once again a really big army of the faith we have called three of our lords uh, luckily we found kevin lannister he's bringing some 200 men 60 of those are knights, 60 of them are Lannisport spearmen, and then he has all kinds of other forces. We also have uh, Sir Lord, Lord with us, bringing some 88 men, and also Lord Paramount Peter Bailey, Lord of Harrenhal, and Lord Paramount of the Trident. He's bringing some, uh, yeah, close to 100 men as well, so that's very nice. Uh, the Faith itself has 240 men. Um, we have mostly, yeah, Elite Vale Longbowmen. We have a lot of knights as well, and uh, mounted Riverlander sergeants. So, I think... We are well prepared to take over Hull, but this is going to be a difficult siege. We have taken Hull previously, but that was kind of a different matter because it was basically the Maiden Sentinels taking it over on their own, um, almost. But this time is going to be different because, as you can see, if we look at the garrison, there are some 64 car hold longbowmen and some 33 elite northern archers. Those guys deal a lot of damage. Uh, they're vicious. Um, I would even say they are more skilled. I hate to say this, but I think, especially the Carl Long Bowman, are a bit more skilled than our Maiden Sentinels. Yes? I mean, Septon Robin's, of course, the best archer in the Seven Kingdoms, but other than that, I think the Carl Long Bowman can really deal some damage to our, to our archer. So we'll have to see. Um, but, um, you know, nonetheless, we've got some 600 men in total, and the garrison has 290, so... Twice the numbers, I think we should be able to take Hall. Um, and yeah, let's go ahead and uh, and do that. Uh, Wyman Mandalay currently laying siege. Ah, oh well. Let him do it. There's not much we can do about it. But yeah, uh, 20, 20 days of rations. We might be able to starve out the, the town, but you know, 20 days. We just don't have 20 days. That's the problem. So we're going to go ahead. We'll lead an assault. And uh, we'll have, yeah, Kevin Lancer. Peter Baelish and Lord Lodge, all of them joining us. That's good. That's good to know. All right. First of all, everyone hold back and let's have our archers uh, set up a little bit. I think we'll send in the poor fellas immediately um, it, just because we need to get onto the to walls as quickly as possible. You can see already we're being shot at. I think we'll have our archers maybe move over a little bit um, just so that you can focus on, on the enemy archers because those are the ones that are so vicious. Oh my god. Already a Westerlander sergeant killed. Alright, so, yeah, we gotta keep them busy. We gotta keep their archers busy so that our infantry has a chance. Sept and Robin already taken out one of the Carhold Longbowmen. Awesome. That's what I like to see. And, um, hmm. Yeah, I don't think we need to send in the knights just yet, but I do wanna have our, um, yeah, the, well, Peter Baelish basically just holding back. He's not gonna be much use in, a, in this fight. Sept and Tia already taken out. Ooh. Well, that is not too good. Um,. Wow, these car that's what I said. These Carl Longbowmen, incredibly powerful. Okay, um, I'll try and maybe help out my men as well, shooting a little bit with my crossbow. But yeah, you can see the damage. You can see the damage they take. Lord Lodge taking out a uh, Northern Halberdier. Good to see him on the walls. I think he certainly deserves to get uh, 
to get Duskendale. I mean, he's been uh, he's been with us on most of our campaigns so far. <sighs> All right, I think we'll uh, we'll send in the knights afterwards. Yep, the Holy Hundred, because uh, our poor fellows are about to be cut down. Kevin Lannister even uh, taken out. Maybe this was a bit too late. Maybe I should have sent in. I, I think I should have sent them in a little bit earlier. All right. Well, let's uh, let's send in. Uh, Hmm, Sir Flad? No, I actually want to keep him a little bit. I want to keep him around. Okay, maybe I can send you... Uh, I don't know, maybe I should send you over here a little bit. A little bit closer, maybe. That would be useful. So Flad the Ruthless taking someone out as well. Sweet. Got a King's Guard and the King with us still. Okay, now Knights are now on the top of the walls. Ooh. I don't know. I don't know. All right, we're finally making some progress. Um, we have just received our reinforcements, and now the enemies have received some reinforcements as well. But we're cutting down a lot of the Carhold Longbowmen, and we've still got uh, a lot of Maiden Sentinels left. I think I'll send them way over there, because there is still a nest of enemy uh, archers, so we definitely got to take them out. I think we have... I don't know, where, where's the King's Guard, by the way? We, where, where are you guys? I have no clue where they are right now. Um, I think they may have charged up. I think they might have charged up. That's uh, that's not really what I wanted, but oh well. Um, we have archer support for the most part here, so that's good. Um, and our men are on the walls as well. I probably should go on there as well. I'm just I'm just still a, a bit scared. So I think we'll uh, we'll try and take out these archers. At least keep them busy. I think that's important. All right, I certainly hit him there, so that's good. Yep. All right. And. Um, don't have any kings got with us. That's so strange. All right. Well, okay. Now we're losing men again, surprisingly. All right. Send it out. Send over archers once again. All right. There's another nest of archers. We'll have to make sure to uh, deal with them as well. Uh, so many of these carved longbowmen. So we're gonna have to go around outside while our men are inside. We're gonna have to uh, command our archers. Yeah, to give up to give our men on the walls a little bit of uh, well, fire support because uh, yeah, these guys are very frustrating. Okay, yeah, you can see our men on the walls. Very nice. Marlon Sunderland has been taken out. So yeah, it, it seems like the King's Guard is on the on the top of the walls. All right. Well, I guess in that case we might as well tell the King's Guard to charge in. Yeah, the King and uh, Sir Jonathan. Ah, oh, the King just got taken out. Well, but yeah, um, that's that's how it is. They are somehow on the walls. I don't know why they charged in. I didn't tell them to. But Sir Jonathan, the Golden Sparrow, as you can see. Um, yeah, I, I now added in all kinds of uh, all kinds of new nicknames for our, for our, well, King's Guard as well as the King. So the King is now known as not only the Humble, but the Humble Dragon. And we also have uh, Sir Jonathan known as uh, the Golden Sparrow. As for, as for the other king's guard, Brynden, he is known as the White Raven, and I, um, I n said that before, I mentioned that before, but I didn't actually add his nickname properly. Uh, okay, so I think we did as much damage to them as we could, but we're not getting any reinforcements. That's uh, actually problematic. So I decided to retreat from the battle. We took a lot of morale casualties here, that's not too good. Uh, obviously, the king going down, our men didn't like that too much. We only took five casualties, but that's mostly because we send in our archers. But our allies, they... Whew, 46 killed, 50 wounded. Um, but we did some really good damage to the garrison. Uh, 76 men dead. How many of these longbowmen did we kill? S uh, 33, about half of them. Okay, and a few northern archers. They still have many more archers left. Hmm. So, so Jonathan got five kills. So Bonifer got three with our crossbow, uh, mostly. And uh, Septon Robin still nine kills. Certainly the best. Did he get knocked out? Um, I don't think he did. I don't think he did. Yeah, it was basically the King's Guard. For some reason, the King of the King's Guard decided to join uh, to to uh, charge up the the walls. I didn't really want them to do that. But yeah, we'll have to continue. I want this. I want this town. And I think. Uh, yeah, it's only Kevin Lancer staying with us, right? Yeah, I think so. Oof, that's not really good. That's not good. It looks as if... Oh, actually, Lord Lord just stayed as well. So it's just um, it's just Peter Baelish who abandoned us. 
Um, I mean, you know, that's the kind of guy you would expect that from, right? Okay, but yeah, let's have our archers here. I think we can send our infantry in immediately. And yeah, you you guys um, set yourselves up, Maiden Sentinels. I hope that Robin's going to be able to, yeah, tell his archers. Okay, yeah, he once again gets the first kill. That's always nice. Always a really good example, uh, shooting down these uh, northern archers. Awesome. And so Flat getting another kill as well. All right, well, I'm going to go right to business. I'll help out uh, our men. Uh, poor fellas, especially going in. We gotta keep these, gotta keep these men busy, these archers, um, so that our men actually have a chance of getting onto the top of the walls. And I think we don't even have that many men, so I might as well bring in the knights immediately after. Yeah, come on, go knights, and we'll, uh, we'll support our men here. Uh, seems like the northern forces have unlimited ammo. Uh, this time, yeah, we took. Basically just as much casualties at last uh, as, the, as the first assault and we killed only another 12 card longbowmen. I don't know if we're even going to be able to do this. Um, let me quickly abandon the siege and let me see what this looks like. So, um, we've got some... We've got some... Wait, 35 men, that's low and low. How many men do we have in the garrison? 170 men in the garrison are left. They still have 15 of their card longbowmen and some 18 northern archers. Ah... Uh, well, Kevin Lancer has 125 men left, and um, where is uh, Lord Lorch? He had some 25 men left, so I, I think he's gonna he's gonna leave us. He's gonna abandon us. But I won't pass uh, put it past him. A uh, King's Guide is not looking too well. Uh, Sir Vlad has leveled up though, so let's talk to him and talk about your skills here. See if we can in increase them. I mean, I guess. Uh, well, what is there to give you? What is there to give you? I guess I could give you. You know what? I'll give you more strength, because why not? Um, I'll give you a little bit more foraging as well. Um, and I cannot give you any crossbow, so this is the best I can do for you. Septon Robin has leveled up as well. Well, no surprise, he had the most kills. I think I will also... Hmm, I'll give you agility, and we'll increase your trainer. You need to teach these others. You need to teach the other Maiden Sentinels how how they become a uh, great bowman just like you. Because uh, we need more. We need more of your kind. Uh, we can actually upgrade a few of our veil archers. Okay, so a few have learned. That's uh, that's not too bad. Good. And three elite uh, Westerlander men. Okay. Let's upgrade a few other forces. Oh, guys, I don't know. It looks as if Sir Kevin Lance is abandoning us. He had enough of this. He lost some 80 men in this battle. And we only lost 10. Um, it's hard to... Yeah, it's hard to explain this. Uh, I think Sir Lone Roach is staying with us, but you know what? We can't we can't let them off the hook. We need to take this castle, and we need to take it now, or this town. Because otherwise, you know, with this port, the Northerners can resupply King's Landing and, uh, you know, their holdings in the Crown Lands, and that simply cannot happen. So, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll have to take it at all costs. Um, so Kevin Lancer actually joined us right now. Um, we'll uh, reject that offer, but yeah, he's leaving. <sighs> Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. But you know what? We're gonna have to do it. We're gonna have to lead our soldiers into an assault. It, it, you know, there's no, there's no help in it. No help in it. Okay, everyone follow us. We'll have the Maiden Sentinels set up again for the third assault. Okay, we bring a lot of more archers this time. So I don't know. Maybe this is gonna go a little bit better. I uh, can't really tell. Okay, okay, well, we're getting some kills in. Um, that's nice. Uh, I think we'll just have to let our archers do this. Uh, it's looking really good. Now that we have... How many Maiden Sentinels did we bring? Some 40 Maiden Sentinels. This is looking good. Oh my god, this might be it. This might be it. All right, let's help out. Let's help out our men. Guys, I think we've... Uh, I think we're going to do this. Um, look at the kill count. 33... Uh, 32 men are dead. This is amazing. Uh, I think we finally... After so many casualties in these first few assaults, we're finally doing it. Uh, I want to hold off before I actually send in my men, because, yeah, we, we, we got to clean out these archers first before we do anything else. Um, but I do think that we're going to send in our cavalry as well as our poor fellows. We don't have that many, actually. But, uh, yeah, we'll send them in uh, so that the king's guard can follow me, just sort of as a, as a distraction, maybe. And then we'll send in our archers... Like we did last time. All yeah, set them around here so they can uh, they can uh, just shoot away a little bit. I think that's the way to do this. And uh, I'll uh, I'll follow our men 
and uh, we're gonna we're gonna go into the top of the walls with the King's Guard. In fact, I will actually have the Stranger Servants on the Sir Vlad charge in as well. Um, and yeah, with the King's Guard together, we should actually be able to uh, to take out these men relatively easily. I hope at least. I hope. Um, now there's still a few archers left apparently that we haven't quite taken out. Uh, new enemies are now arriving. How many men do we have left? They have 80 men left. Ooh, okay. Maybe it was too soon? Maybe it was too soon. I don't know. Hmm. Alright, well, let me let me see. Okay, we got it. We haven't cleaned out these archers yet. Ah, I see. That's the problem. I was, uh, I was being a bit, uh, too eager, I think. So well, now it's, it's me. Having to take them out. They can take quite a hit. Alright, he finally died. Alright, he did as well. Alright, there's one more though. There's one more. Okay, so... Uh, there's actually two more. Oh my God. How many archers do they have? Alright, he's taken out. Really good that I brought this crossbow. And, um, okay, so our men are on the top of the walls. Very nice. Where? Oh, the King's Guard's going up again. Alright. King's Guard, follow me, please. Alright, where is... I think the King has taken a rest for now, which is fine. But we've got, uh, we've got the White Raven and the Golden Sparrow with us, as well as, uh, so fled on the top of the walls. I always feel good about that. Um, I think we'll have the archers come up here as well. Um, yeah, I think they, uh, I think we need that, their support. Now I'm gonna, ooh, we're being shot at from over there. Hmm. You know what? It doesn't help. We're gonna have to, we're gonna have to help out our men in close combat. That's still where we're best at. Yeah, we've got the King's Scout with us here. I think it's uh, the Lord Commander. Very nice. Yeah. We are surrounding them. Look at that. Just surrounding. Very nice. Okay. What are you doing over here? Oh my god. This is a slaughter. Yes. Perfect. Anyone left? I don't know. Let's give me my shield. Okay. Looking good. Looking really good. So how many men have they got left? I think we'll have to send maybe the Maiden Sentinels in here as well. Because, uh, yeah. They... They gotta come. They gotta move. Uh, they're, they are coming. They're still quite far away. Ooh, okay. They're sending in more men. Oof. But I think this is it. Come on, Sir Jonathan. Don't just stand around. <laughs> Thank you. I think he wanted me to get the glory of that kill. But you know what? At this point, I only want to win. I don't care who gets the kill. Alright, I could get some support here. I could use some support. Thank you. Oh my god. I see uh, Marlon Sunderland still around. And uh, thank goodness for the King's Guard. Alright, yeah, we gotta bring the archers up here. Oof. Okay, I'm not sure if we're gonna be able... Ah, they're all standing down here, I see. Alright, this could be pretty bad. Oh no! <sighs> right in the head. I can't believe it. I thought this was it. <sighs> well, we took another wound. We only lost six men though. Um, so Lone Roach taking the brunt of the of the damage, at least his men did. I mean, I guess what you could also argue is that, uh, you know, with Septon Ben and Septon Nella uh, mostly looking after our men, uh, it's, you know, that's the reason why we're not losing as many. They are obviously, they are treating the wounds, treating our wounded, making sure that they don't die. And they, they don't just have, they simply don't have enough time to you know, to look after the other men. Uh, so I think that's why um, our forces are not taking as many casualties. 
But yeah, we we definitely did well. 125 kills, so I don't know how many men they have left. But let's have a look. Septon, Robin, once again, with 12 kills here. So flat with 9. Um, but the Lord Commander, Sir Jonathan, with 7 kills. Pretty good. Now, uh, the White Raven, uh, Sir Corby, is probably not doing too well in this siege. Because he doesn't use a shield. And with so many archers around, you know, a shield would be quite useful, I think. Um, but you know what? That's fine. <sighs> We'll have to do it. I want this. I want this town. All right. So one more time. All right, everyone. This is it. Everyone follow us. We'll have the Maiden Sentinels in the front. Let's do your work. Let's do your work. We've got some 70 Maiden Sentinels. So you know what? I think at this point, we're basically just going to pluck the walls clean from enemies. There's going to be nobody left when we finally make it uh, into the castle yard. Um... We actually healed up quite nicely, uh, considering the fact that we took a wound. Uh, I guess that we are getting uh, priority treatment from uh, Septon Ben. But yeah, look at our archers. Ah, oh, glorious. I don't know if Septon Robin is even around. Um, yep, he is. He is leading his men. You know what? I think I'll actually send you over here. Because you've got so many men, you can focus on the entire wall at once. And they're just being... Yeah, they're just being obliterated. They've got 26 men left. All right, we'll send in, uh, yeah, the Holy Hunter and the King's Guard. Um, well, actually, the poor fellas, I meant. And we're going to get onto the top of the walls as well. I don't want to take another wound, but uh, I think this is fine. Um, yeah, I think this is all right. Uh, do we have the King's Guard with us? We I see Septon Edad here. Uh, that's good to see him around. Uh, there's the King. Ah, the King has healed up. Very nice, very nice. And we've got ah, the White Raven with us as well. I guess the Lord Commander is now taking a break. I mean, he fought valiantly in that last battle. We even have Septon here. Okay, so that's really nice. A lot of our, a lot of our leaders that uh, have taken wounds before are now ready to take up, uh, take up duty again. But yeah, as long as there's one of the uh, one of the King's Guard protecting the King, I'm, uh, I feel happy. I'm satisfied. Uh, you, sir, I'm gonna take out. Ah, uh, yet of course you move. Of course you move, but you know what? I'll get you still. He's not even, he doesn't even notice me. And there are a headshot. Yes, very nice. Now we're obviously getting better at the crossbow as well. So this is not really a surprise. Uh, it's seven men left. It seems like they're sending pretty much everything they have right at us uh, right now. Um, I, I just, I basically told everyone to charge in. I guess we'll, we'll tell our main sentinels to charge in as well. Um, but before we get onto the top of the walls, I assume... Everyone's gonna be taken out. In fact, you know what? Hmm, no one's going after you. Ah, of course you move. Oh, there's one last defender left, and it's the king taking him out. The king himself. Oh my god. I almost missed it, but I think I... Yeah, we saw the last little bit of battle here on the rooftops. Very amazing. Very amazing. And the king, he was even faster than his king's guard. I think uh, the white raven was charging up these walls as quick as he could yep charging up these stairs but uh, the king was too fast the king was simply too fast wow what a vicious siege indeed uh four assaults it has taken us and we've lost so many men but you know what i gotta tell you i gotta tell you that uh sir lord lord he has been staying with us for the entirety of the siege so i think he most certainly deserves to get a town. I think uh, I think I'm going to give him Daskendale actually. Um, but yeah, we'll uh, pick up a few Silent Sisters. We need we need some more to uh, to help Septon Ben and Septon Nella uh, heal our wounded. And uh, other than that, I mean, I suppose a raider leader uh, for Sir Flood and his uh, his stranger servants. And then I guess we'll pick up the peasants and the armed villagers and well the female peasants I suppose as well as many as we can anyways. And then some of these veteran northern archers and maybe one of their men-at-arms as prisoners. This is not particularly important. I will not take that. Thank you very much. We'll have our companions collect this. Now, what are we to do with Hall? I think I will defer appointment. Although I could give it to Lord Lord right now. He has only one village, but he, he deserves to have more lands. You know what? I'll defer appointment. Or should I have Hall for myself? If I take Hall, I could give Duskendale to Sir Lowent Lorch. Mm, yeah, probably. I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to take Hall for myself. Yep. Yeah. Um, that's alright. No one is actually unhappy about that. That's that's fine. Alright, so I decided to uh, give 
30 elite fair long bowmen here to hold the, the walls and then a few poor fellas veil halberdiers dragons on halberdiers and then yeah some peasants that obviously needs to be upgraded but i think that's good for now uh 50 men i mean this is isolated we're not really at war with the stormlands just now so we should be able to uh to maybe recruit some more men and then reinforce the garrison and hold perhaps you're even going to take some men from dragonstone not too sure about that but yeah i will certainly go ahead and yeah lord and lord you have been staying with us so loyally you are going to get duskendale you you simply have actually you know what hmm before i give this to you I, I might have to check out uh, the garrison because I might want to keep... I'm going to... Yeah, I'm actually going to have to take a few men out of the garrison before I give that to you because I need those men. Um, so, yeah, we'll do that first and uh, then I'll uh, I'll be able to hand this to you. So I switched out a few men in the garrison of Duskendale. So we have mostly Stormlander men at arms and Vale archers here, a few Silent Sisters, and then I've left some um, elite faithful crossbowmen. Uh, I, however, made sure to take... Uh, some knights out of the garrison the runestone knights if we can find them yeah some 20 runestone knights and i also took uh, quite a few of elite westerland along bowmen uh, with us here so that's amazing um because you know these kind of troops we've been training up for a while uh, and i don't think that uh, they need to be uh, waiting around and sitting around the, in the duskendale garrison so yeah so lord lodge we will make our way to dragonstone and you will become uh the new lord of uh of duskendale all right, so let's make this official. We'll talk to the High Sparrow, and I would like to... Mm -hmm. We'll talk about Raventry Hall in a second, but I would like to grant one of my vassals a fief. I want to give Duskendale to Sir Lowen Lorch. Yes, he only has one village so far, which is Riddiger, but yeah, he will uh, Duskendale. So that like that makes him like us more, and Baron apparent, apparently he's quite happy about that as well. Awesome. Alright, so um, I think that's all for now, and yeah, as I said, we're going to have to talk about Raventree Hall. Now, I when we took that uh, two episodes ago, I was asking you guys what we should do about the weirwood tree uh, that is growing in Raventree Hall, and that is giving its name to the castle, or that is, yeah, that's the reason for, for the castle's name. And, um, well, uh, I left you with three options. We could leave the tree be, or we could remove it, and... If we remove it, should we cut it down or should we burn it down? Now, most of the people who answered in the poll were actually for burning it down, uh, which is something that uh, our ancestors did. They cut down the weirwood trees, but they also burned down quite a few of them. And um, so that's what uh, most of you wanted uh, in the poll. And that means Septa Unella has taken that stance in the Council of the Most Devout. We also have... A huge opposition from uh, Sir Fled the Ruthless and the Lord Commander of the King's Guard, Sir Jonathan Day, the Golden Sparrow, who both want the tree to just, well, to just stay there. They don't want to cut it down. They don't want to burn it down. And uh, Sir Jonathan explained this because he he feels like we should we should sh show the Northerners that uh, you know we're not that ruthless. We're not just conquerors. We're people who who want to peacefully convert them because otherwise. You know, we're never going to be able to submit the North. It's a huge realm. And, uh, you know, we might officially conquer it, but we'll never be able to pacify the region. But in the end, our king, um, supported by the High Sparrow, by Sir Boniford the Good, as well as uh, Baelish and Lord Sunderland of, of the small council, he decided that he has to send a sign uh, to the Northerners. He's going to cut down that tree. He's not going to burn it. Because, you know, we're no demon worshippers like that Stannis uh, from whom we took this very castle. No, we are we are worshippers of the Seven. But still, this tree must go. So, uh, he has uh, told me that he wants his uh, one of his king's guard, obviously not uh, the Lord Commander because he's so outspoken against it. He wants his other king's guard, Sir Brynden Corpory, the White Raven, to go ahead and cut down that tree. So, yeah, I'd like to ask you something and I want you to... Uh, yeah, to go ahead and uh, and cut down that tree. Thank you very much. Uh, he'll return to us uh, with news um, when the deed is done. All right. So we have given Sir Lord Lorch um, Duskendale. His banners should be now uh, over here. Awesome. So he now holds Rudiger and Duskendale. And I think we'll actually make him a crown land lord. We'll give him antlers and draws be as well. 
once we uh once we've taken that over but yeah for his services i think he certainly reward uh, well deserves these rewards all right um that was it for this episode we've done a lot of things and i'm uh, yeah i think it was very productive i hope you guys have enjoyed and i'll see you next time